today our goal is to collect all the gems and toggle all the closed switches. So first I'm gonna create a function. My function name will be uh, collect or toggle. My function body will be uh, wow not is blocked so when it is blocked it will stop my code is move forward if is on gem uh, collect gem then I'm gonna write else if else if uh, it's on closed switch toggle switch I cannot use else over here because I need to specify the condition. So if if I use else, it means the opposite of is on gem. So uh, if I use else over here, uh, it will only run this code when it's not on a gem. So then. Uh, many types of situation when it's not on a gem. It may be on a closed switch, it may be on a open switch, or uh, it may be blocked and so on. So I need to specify it. So now I'm gonna use a for loop. My number is uh, 3 because there are 3 columns. My code will be collect or toggle if uh, is blocked left. Turn right, move forward, turn right. Else. Over here I can use else because I don't need to specify it anymore. So uh, if I use else, it is the opposite of it's blocked left. So it's not blocked left. I don't need to specify whether it is on a jam or on a closed switch or open switch because I just want to check whether it is blocked left or not. My code will be turn left, move forward, turn left. Uh, you can also write the code out because it is not very long. So it will walk all the way to here because uh, it will be blocked. It is blocked. Then it will stop. Uh, it may turn left and move forward and turn left again because uh, it will st uh, because it will still run the code before going up to check whether it is repeat uh, it repeated three times already or not but it won't affect your code bye